What's going on, everybody? I'm John at Pena Sports, and today we're going to be talking about Clemson cornerback Andrew Booth Jr. He's a big, long cornerback with great speed and an attitude. I came away with quite the impression of Booth. I loved his aggressiveness. You know, he may not be the best tackler, but this kid is not scared to come up and thump with the linebackers. Sometimes he's a little out of control, but it's still nice to just see a cornerback that just wants to hit and play football. Now he's a bit of an ankle tackler, and he didn't wrap up consistently, or you could say pretty much ever, but you can see the speed and effort on the field, and I think he did a good job of identifying screens and run schemes. I don't want him to lose that effort on the NFL level. A good part of his game is his ball skills. That allowed him to compete with bigger wide receivers. I bring it up because NFL wide receivers are bigger and faster than anything he's faced in college. You know, Andrew Booth is great at contested catches. He regularly high points passes. He did great jumping up, grabbing the ball out of the air. He's got good hands. Receivers aren't going to rise above Booth very often. I mean, he is just super athletic. I loved his man coverage. It's probably one of the better parts of his game. The quarterbacks quickly figured out not to throw in his direction. You know, Booth mirrors routes like an NFL veteran. So with that said, I'd like him to go to a team that plays a ton of man coverage to start. He plays all kinds of man coverage as well. He plays press man, soft press, all of it. You know, he really made it hard on wide receivers to get off the line. He does have some work in that department. He's going to have to get a little bit stronger, but that stuff comes with time in the NFL. It's just good to be able to play different coverages. You play a receiver like DK Metcalf, you know, you might not want to go press on him too much. You know, them bigger wide receivers can just toss you aside and torch defenses. So you have to have multiple ways you can, you know, go about it. I heard a lot of people say his zone coverage will be a lot better than his man. I completely disagree. I can see him developing into a great man corner. Not saying his zone is bad, but I just kind of expect his man coverage to be his bread and butter to start his NFL career. His own defense needs some work, but I have faith he'll develop into a really good zone corner. You know, he's got the speed needed. You know, he's shown he can react quickly on tape to that quick twitch. And as Booth's got more time playing zone, he got more and more comfortable. And when he uses his athleticism and instincts, you see a player that is going to be great in the NFL. Now, we got to remember, this is a kid that hasn't played much in college at all. And he might be the best corner in this year's class. And for such little time playing the game, he showed great awareness for me as well. You can see him watching the quarterback's eyes. That will help him big time in the transition to the NFL. And he knows where all the receivers are in his area. He regularly comes up and knocks receivers off the routes. He just gets it. You know, he reads the field well. And he positions himself well. Now, let's touch on some weaknesses that I saw on tape. The first thing I saw is he kind of turns early at times, which gets him burned on them deep curls and out routes. That's probably the biggest issue I saw him do repeatedly. But this is a common problem with players that just don't have a ton of playing time. He should honestly get that cleaned up in the NFL. In zone coverage, he gets too high sometimes, just upfield a little too far. That's about all I've seen. So, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good. His coverage all around is great. That's all I saw in his coverage that was worth critiquing. And there are some physical things, but a rookie with this few issues in coverage is a hot commodity in the NFL, I promise you. If I'm an NFL GM, I'd have no problem taking him with a top 10 pick. He's not a perfect prospect, but I'm comfortable predicting that at a minimum, Andrew Booth will be a high-level coverage corner. And I can't talk about this enough. I love his aggressiveness. Like, it hurts him at times, but for the most part, it gives him an edge. And it makes him dangerous. You know, outside of the missed tackles, he tries to jump routes at times, it's, you know, and you're going to get burned. So I'd like to see him develop a little bit of patience in the NFL without losing his aggressiveness. That should happen with just repetition over time. Out of the five games I saw, I only seen one blown coverage, so it wasn't bad. I tried to find out how many in total blown plays he had. The best I could find was an article that said he had a few. So I'm guessing around three or four blown plays for his career. Overall, not awful. That is something he's going to have to clear up in the NFL. It's a quick way to lose a game. But I gotta say, the good way, way outweighs the bad. You know, his athleticism will just give him a huge advantage on the next level. Combine his length and twitchiness and ball skills, and he'll be a handful to deal with coming off the line, you know, and all that short and intermediate passes. His speed, superior positioning, and competitiveness will make him formidable on them deep passes as well. I see no reason why he can't be a productive cornerback day one. I'm very excited to see him progress in the next couple of seasons. I believe he'll be a top 10 to 15 corner in the next few years. 
I'm always asked for comps. I'd say my comp for Andrew Booth is probably Jair Alexander. I think he's worth a top 10 draft pick. He could go late in the draft because just the top of this draft is packed with great players. Don't be surprised if he goes earlier than people have been saying. You know, if your team drafts him, I think you can have some expectations. You're one for him. But you may see struggles just the first half, the first half of his first season, possibly. But listen, this kid's special, man. When you just combine all his tools with how athletic he is, and just, oh, he's so good. <laughs> like, special, special player. I think he's just a total package. Wish him good luck for his career. But anyways, that's it for this one. If you're new, subscribe. Got plenty more of these draft profiles to come. Going all the way to the draft, I'll have them coming out. But also, like this stream, it keeps me motivated. Helps me grow, so appreciate that. Everybody stay safe, stay warm, and peace.